If you've spent any time scrolling through health videos, reading supplement labels, or even flipping over the back of a dessert package, chances are you've seen the words collagen and gelatin thrown around like they're basically the same thing. Some people swear by collagen powder in their coffee, while others talk about gelatin as if it's an old school ingredient that somehow made a comeback. And that naturally leads to the big question, are collagen and gelatin actually different, or are we just paying extra for a fancier name? At first glance, the confusion makes sense. Both come from animals. Both are linked to skin, joints, and connective tissues. And both are often praised for similar health benefits. But once you dig a little deeper, you realize that collagen and gelatin aren't interchangeable. They're related, yes, but they behave differently are processed differently and are used for different purposes. So today, let's slow things down and really break it apart without hype, without marketing language, and without making it more complicated than it needs to be. All that right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with collagen because that's the one most people recognize. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body. It's found in your skin, bones, tendons, ligaments, cartilage, and even blood vessels. Think of collagen as the scaffolding that holds everything together. It's what gives skin its firmness, helps joints stay strong, and keeps tissues from falling apart under stress. When we're young, our bodies produce plenty of collagen naturally. But as we age, collagen production slows down. That's when we start noticing wrinkles, joint stiffness, weaker nails, and slower recovery after physical activity. This natural decline is one reason collagen supplements have become so popular. Here's something many people don't realize. Collagen in its natural form isn't easy for the body to absorb. That's why most collagen supplements are actually hydrolyzed collagen, also known as collagen peptides. This means the collagen has already been broken down into smaller protein fragments before you consume it. Because these peptides are smaller, your digestive system can absorb them more efficiently. That's also why collagen powder dissolves easily in liquids and doesn't change texture. When people add collagen to coffee, smoothies, or water, they're not consuming whole collagen fibers. They're consuming collagen that's already been partially digested for convenience. Gelatin starts as collagen, but it doesn't stay that way. Gelatin is what you get when collagen is cooked. When animal bones, skin, and connective tissue are simmered for long periods, Heat breaks down the collagen structure and transforms it into gelatin. This is why gelatin has been used for centuries in cooking. Once dissolved in hot liquid and allowed to cool, gelatin forms a solid or semi-solid gel. That familiar jiggly texture you see in jelly, gummies, and desserts exists because of this transformation. Collagen supplements don't do this, which makes gelatin unique. One of the biggest differences between gelatin and collagen shows up in how they behave in food and drinks. Gelatin thickens and solidifies when cooled. Collagen peptides do not. They stay liquid, no matter the temperature. This is why gelatin is used in recipes that need structure, like custards, marshmallows, and aspics. Collagen, on the other hand, is designed for convenience. It blends smoothly and invisibly into drinks without altering taste or texture. If you accidentally swap one for the other, you'll notice the difference immediately. From a nutritional standpoint, collagen and gelatin are surprisingly similar. Both are rich in amino acids like glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. These amino acids are essential for maintaining healthy skin, joints, cartilage, 
and connective tissues. That's why both collagen and gelatin are often associated with similar benefits. They provide the raw materials your body needs to repair and rebuild its own collagen. Neither one magically turns into skin or joints, but both support the body's natural maintenance processes. Despite their nutritional similarities, collagen and gelatin can feel different when consumed. Collagen peptides are already broken down, so they digest quickly and easily. This makes them ideal for people who want a simple protein boost without feeling full. Gelatin digests more slowly because it forms a gel-like substance in the digestive tract. Some people find it more satisfying, while others say it feels soothing, especially when consumed in warm foods like broth. This slower digestion is one reason gelatin is often associated with gut comfort. Collagen peptides are typically flavorless and odorless. You can add them to almost anything without noticing them. Gelatin, while mild in flavor, has a very noticeable impact on texture. If you expect gelatin to behave like collagen in a drink, you'll be surprised when it thickens as it cools. That difference alone often determines which one people prefer for daily use. Both collagen and gelatin usually come from the same animal sources, such as cows, pigs, fish, or chickens. The difference lies in how they're processed. Collagen supplements undergo enzymatic hydrolysis to break them down into peptides, while gelatin is extracted through prolonged heating. This difference affects how each product fits into diets, routines, and recipes. One prioritizes convenience, while the other emphasizes functionality in cooking. Neither collagen nor gelatin is inherently better than the other. They simply serve different purposes. If you want something easy to mix into drinks without changing texture, collagen peptides are the better choice. If you enjoy cooking or want a product that thickens and gels, gelatin makes more sense. At the end of the day, collagen and gelatin aren't competitors. They're closely related forms of the same protein. Gelatin is collagen that's been transformed by heat, while collagen supplements are broken down for easy absorption. Both provide similar building blocks for the body and can support overall health in different ways. Understanding this difference helps cut through marketing confusion and makes it easier to choose what actually fits your lifestyle. Sometimes, what looks like a modern health trend is really just a familiar ingredient presented in a new form. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.